Here we are given a particle which moves along a straight line and its position at time t is given by this function s of t equals 2t cube minus 24t square plus 42t where s is measured in feet and t is measured in seconds. And we have to calculate uh, these four parts of this uh, question. Uh, first part we have to calculate the velocity and then we have to calculate the time at which the particle stops. Basically it stops at uh, two time intervals or exactly at two times. And then we have to calculate the position of the particle at time 16 equal to 16 seconds and the total distance of the particle between time 0 and 16. So let's calculate each of them one by one. First, we have to calculate the velocity. We know that the velocity of a function is given by the derivative of the position function. So this is equal to d by dt of s of t. We have to find the first derivative of the position function which basically gives us the velocity. So when we do that, I can replace the s of t with the given function that is 2t cube minus 24t square plus 42t. Now I have to differentiate this with respect to t and I can differentiate by differentiating each parts, uh, each terms one by one. So when I differentiate 2t cube using the power rule, 2 is a constant and I just differentiate only t cube. Differentiation of t cube is using the power rule, it will be 3t square. And similarly, I, I just move on to the next term, which is minus 24t squared. I differentiate the t squared with, using the power rule, and this will be 2t. And finally, I have 42 times of differentiation of t with respect to t is basically 1. So let's get this simplified. This is equal to 6t squared minus 48t plus 42. And we can uh, factorize this, that is I can factor 6 from this and I can write down this as t squared minus 8t plus 7. So this is the velocity function, basically the uh, differentiation of the position function. Uh, we have to calculate the velocity at time t equal to 0, which means we have to uh, plug in t equal to 0 into the velocity function. Plug in t equal to 0 into this function and when we do that we get the velocity when t equal to 0 and this is equal to just plug in t equal to 0 which means uh, I have 6 in front this will be 0 square minus 8 times of 0 plus 7 these two will become 0 so it's basically 6 times or 7 equal to 42 and this is measured in feet per second. So this is the velocity of the particle at time t equal to 0 which means we have answered the first part. Now let's move on to the second part that is we have to find the particle at what time it stops. So we know that the when the particle stops its velocity is 0 which means we can equate the velocity to 0. We can set up equation that such that the velocity equal to 0. So for that I am going to replace the v of t that is the velocity function using this equation that is 6 times of t squared minus 80 plus 7 equal to 0. You can replace the self side as 6 times of t squared minus 80 plus 7 equals 0. Now I divide both sides by 6. So I can simplify this as uh, this is uh, t square minus 80 plus 7 equal to 0. Now I can factorize this or I can write down this in factor form. This is equal to t minus 7 times of t minus 1 equal to 0. Now I can find uh, t from this equation by setting up uh, either t minus 7 equal to 0 or t minus 1 equal to 0 and this implies if I add a 7 this is going to be t equal to 7 and when I add 1 here this is going to be t equal to 1. So we are given that uh, a is less than b which means out of these two times 1 is less than 7. So 
we can write down a equal to 1 and b equal to 7. So this is the answer for the part 2. These two are basically in terms of seconds because the unit of time is seconds as given in this question. Now let's move on to the next part which is we have to find the position of the particle at time 16. So I can do it over here. So this one is we have to find the position of the particle at time t16 which means we can essentially use the position function. So it's basically we have to plug in t equal to 16 into this equation into the position function equation and when we do that i'll be getting s times of s of 16 is equal to 2 times of uh, 16 cube minus of 24 times of 16 square plus 42 times of 16 and when we simplify this we'll be getting 2720 and this is in feet because the position is measured in feet. Now let's move on and uh, do the next one. That is the total distance of the particle between time 0 and time 16. To answer this question, we have to integrate. So let's do it over here. So it's basically to find the distance, we have to integrate the position function. Distance is basically the integration of S of t dt between the interval a to b. So let's uh, replace the a as uh, 0 here and b equal to 16. Since we want to find the distance of the particle when it has traveled from t equal to 0 to t equal to 16. So when I, inter when I substitute these two values, I put uh, 0 in the lower limit and 16 in the upper limit and then I have to replace the s of t which is 2t cube minus 24t square plus 42t. So I have to integrate this and substitute the limits. So this can be integrated uh, by integrating each term one by one. I integrate this term as plus this term as plus this term and do them one by one. So this is 0 to 16 uh, integration of 2t cube dt minus uh, 24t square dt integration 0 to 16 plus uh, integration of uh, 42t dt. So when you do that we apply the power rule of integration that is 2 is basically a constant so we can take it out of the integral and just integrate only the t cube like this and similarly for the other integrations also we can factor the 24 and write down this as 0 to 16 simply t square plus uh, 0 to 16 42 times of t dt now we can apply the power rule Remember that when you integrate uh, x power n dx with respect to x, this is equal to x power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1. So we are going to use this formula. So therefore this will become uh, increase the power by 1 that is 3 plus 1 is 4 and divide by the same exponent and you have to apply the limit 0 to 16. Similarly this will be 24 times of increase the power by 1 and divide by the same exponent. So this should also be evaluated between 0 to 16. And finally we have 42 times of uh, t square by 2, 0 to 16. I can simplify this. This will be t power 4 divided by 2, 0 to 16. This is uh, 8t cube, 0 to 16. And this will be 21t t square. 0 to 16. So when you apply the upper limit, you'll be getting something like this. This will be 16 power 4 minus of 0 power 4. Since the lower limit is uh, 0 for all the integration, it will come as 0 minus of 8 times of 16 cube minus 0. Then we have plus 21 times of 
16 squared minus 0. So this is equivalent to, can calculate it using the calculator, 16 power 4 is basically 65,000. 536 minus 0 this will become 0 minus of 8 times of 16 power 3 and this is equal to 4096 plus 21 times of 16 square which is uh, 256 now we just have to simplify this so after simplification, we'll be getting 5,376. So this is the distance of the particle between the time 0 and 60. So this distance is basically in feet.